Today I'm going to show you three ways how you can export data from Notion directly to Google Sheets. So if you use Notion, the odds are you use it for everything. It might be your CRM, social media scheduling tool, keyword research tool, you name it. You keep everything in Notion. But the truth is that Notion is limited. You cannot build graphs of data with the information in Google Sheets. You cannot do more sophisticated formulas, etc. And obviously this brings you to this video. And the first tool we're going to explore is called Bardeen. It's a workflow automation tool. Here I have have it installed and the automation is called Notion to Sheets. I'm going to click on it and here I'm asked which database I want to save to Google Sheets 2. I'm going to save my tweets database that I scheduled with a tool called Q.so and what the automation is going to do, it's going to create a new spreadsheet and add the information to that spreadsheet from Notion. So here we have three posts. And if you go back to the database, we have three posts that were published. So if you want to build something a little bit more sophisticated or something a little bit more custom, you can also do that. We're going to rebuild this automation from scratch. We have uh, create a new playbook, that's what we call automations. And we're going to first find all pages in the database. So this is the action, find pages in the database. And we're going to pick a database. So it can be the same database or you can ask me every time, which means that you're going to be asked which database you want to grab the information from. So here we have the name of the argument, it's called database. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to add another action. It's going to be a Google Sheets action. Here we have Google Sheets and I want to add table rows to Google Sheets. You can pick an existing spreadsheet if you want, or you can also ask which spreadsheet you want to add the information to. So here I'm going to say sheets, that's the name of the argument we're going to be asked. And finally, you want to map the data from one place to another. You want to map the data that comes from the previous action to this spreadsheet. So it's going to be inside the spreadsheet itself. So I'm going to hit done. And finally, I actually want to add a notification that's going to say, hey, a spreadsheet has been created. And when you click on it, you will be able to open that spreadsheet. So the action call is notification. Oh, okay, show browser notification. And here we're going to create a message. It's going to show up. So sheet created. That's going to be the name of our notification right there. And you can also add a URL. You can add a URL of that spreadsheet. So when you click on the notification, it's going to pop up. So let's scroll up and here we have uh, the link. It's the link to the sheet. I'm going to hit done and I'm going to save this automation. Give it a name, Notion to Sheets 2. Hit save close the builder and let's run this automation. It's going to have two arguments, very predictable. I have my YouTube database. So this is where I keep all of my videos and I want to create a new spreadsheet or I can edit it to an existing one. So it's called a nested action where you have the create sheets with name, YouTube videos, and it's going to just add an, another action on top of uh, the previous one. Okay, we're going to run this and watch the magic happen. Okay, so the action has been run and here is the notification. You can click on it and it's going to open the spreadsheet with all of my data. You can organize it, you can uh, freeze the first row, which is really neat. You can also select everything and create some filters. For example, you may only want to see high priority videos that uh, you want to record. So there we have it, uh, pretty neat. And the second method we're going to try is going to be the very traditional manual method. We're going to create a new spreadsheet. You can type sheets.new to create a new spreadsheet and we'll import a CSV file from Notion. So let's go to our tweets database and we're going to go here, export, select the markdown and CSV. We're interested in the CSV file from the current view and let's hit export, call this file tweets, save it. And from here in Google Sheets, you can hit file and then import, upload, and then we're going to drag that file to Google Sheets, replace the current sheet. And here you have all the data. 
It's pretty manual, but it is still an option. And finally, the third method is a Google Sheets add-on. It's called Notion to Sheets. You can find it in the description below. And we're going to install this add-on. Hit continue. Choose the account. Give all the permissions. And just like this, this app was added. So you can go ahead and create a new sheet and you will see it show up on the right hand side panel over here, Notion to Sheets. Let's see what it can do. First, we need to add a workspace. Hit select pages, give access to specific pages. Let's give access to content, allow access. Okay, we need to enable automatic updates. Looks like we need to only do it once. I'm going to pick my account one more time and give access this time to a spreadsheet. And the first step is to connect a specific database. All right, now we need to connect a database from Notion. In order for us to do this, uh, we're going to find the link to that database. I have Tweets Danger, that's board view. It's going to grab this URL, go back to spreadsheets, edit here and Let's see if it does the magic we're looking for. Yes, here are all of the fields that it pulled up, start syncing. And the data has been exported, has been formatted really nicely, which is really cool. And here we have a status column that pulls up existing choices from a select field, which is really cool. And now let's explore a few more options. It looks like I can only integrate one database, which is not that much. Otherwise I'll need to upgrade. So the plans are pricing 10 bucks a month per user, quite a bit, 20 bucks for team and 50 bucks for three different workspaces. Okay. Uh, we can also add a sync column, sync specific cells, create recurring tasks, which there are many other apps that can do this. And for the two way sync, it looks like there is a six hour update period. So if you make a change in Google Sheets, it's probably going to show up in Notion only in six hours. And this is it. You can go down to the description of this video to find the links to the automation tools that we've covered. Give this video a thumbs up if you loved it, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.